and we say in this black and white photograph that it's my little fact, we perpetuate the idea and encourage the idea that self-harm is okay. However, there is absolutely nothing okay and nothing beautiful about self-harm. And let me tell you something about suicide, everyone. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Fourthly, there's a gap of misunderstanding between the adult population, the youth population, and amongst those in their various age groups. So let's say we have little John right here, and little John realizes through internet research, or perhaps his own motivation, that he's struggling with depression. And John decides to tell his father, hey dad, I think I might be depressed. And unfortunately what will happen is a father figure, or perhaps a guardian or a parent, will have these words to say. You don't have anything to be depressed about. What are you depressed about? You have a wonderful life. That doesn't help the situation. This lack of knowledge on both sides, unfortunately, leaves individuals who want to come forward isolated. Because they know that they will have almost no one to help them. And so, how do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of the stigmatization behind mental health in the United States? There's a couple of different things we can do. First, promote and enjoy and encourage talking about mental health. How many of us have ever been to a pancake breakfast for our grandpa's, you know, whatever social club? Why don't we have pancake breakfast for people with eating disorders? Why do we have breast cancer walks, but we don't have walks for people with PTSD. Why aren't those things highlighted in the media? Why does the media only highlight individuals who seem to be uncontrollable and violent, even though it's not the majority of cases? <coughs> Secondly, I implore you to call up your congressional representative, because I know y'all got one, and tell them that you want to see mental education classes in the United States. Because we have sexual education starting in the fifth grade. Why don't we have mental education courses? Shouldn't mental health be taken just as seriously as physical health and physical growth? And thirdly, be yourself. If someone comes up to you and says, hey, how's your day? And you unfortunately are experiencing a depressive episode, don't be afraid to say, hey, you know what, man? I'm actually not feeling so good today. Hey, we can get some coffee and talk about it. Because the more we talk about it, the less happy it becomes. So what's our call to action? I call all of us today to move forward with mental health, to take it as something that needs to be treated with the care and the love that it deserves. Because we have the time, we have the energy, and the determination to take our society's perceived taboo of mental health and to transform it into something that we can say, hey mom, dad, would you mind helping out? Thank you.